Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this What is Wednesday, we're going to be talking about PNPM, also known as Performant NPM. In fact, PNPM, in my experience, really fits that namesake very well. It is very fast. It is very efficient. Uh, it has very good mono repo support, and it is strict. All of these things that you can mention here. Now, what the heck is PNPM? What do you use it for? Why would I want it? What is, where does this fit in this whole world of, of, of tools that we use? Well, PNPM takes the place of something like Yarn or NPM. So if you were using NPM install to grab something, a package from a node modules uh, or package into node modules, then PNPM would be doing that with PNPM install rather than npm install, likewise yarn add. So this is a replacement for npm or yarn, okay? Now, why do I need a replacement for npm or yarn? And the answer is these four reasons right here. It's faster is really what it comes down to, and it's more efficient in your disk space. And that's a big one for me personally, because I don't know about you, but I have a lot of projects on my machine and over time, these projects end up taking up a ton of space because of all the node modules folders. And if you want to see something, in fact, this is the level up tutorials code base. I realize how dark <laughs> this text is. So bear with me here. I made it extra large, but you can see here that inside of my node modules folder, and this is the real level up tutorials code base inside of my node modules folder is not a node module. It's actually a sim link in here. So this is a sim link to another location. And that's really what PNPM is doing that is so nice is that it's storing all of the node modules that you install inside of a single address. So it's a one place on your machine and it's referencing them with sim links rather than installing all of those packages into each project over time. In fact, this has become such a problem for me specifically that um, let's see if uh, commands here. I even have right here a command that I use all the time to <laughs> remove all of the node modules from a given directory on my machine. Because if you're not working on these projects, these things just take up space. But with this kind of thing, it's much better. So it's 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 fast. It's disk space efficient. And in my experience, the mono repo uh, workspace features inside of here have been very good. Now you can see here, there's this whole motivation section. If you want to read a little bit more into exactly why or what they're doing here, that's a little bit different. And they, they have an emphasis on the non-flat node modules directory, but if that's causing you some problems, there's a workaround for that as well. Some people do have issues with that. But besides the fact that this thing is faster and more performant, how does it, how does it differ? Or how do we install it? How do we use this thing? Well, the installation is actually really pretty easy. You can even install it directly from NPM because when you install Node on your machine, NPM comes with it. Now I should say, because this is a explain like I'm five video. Um, if you don't know what Node and NPM are, uh, that is a whole thing you'll want to figure out first. And maybe I should do uh, some videos on those as well. This, this is a little bit more for somebody who has the concept and idea about what NPM is doing already. It's installing packages, but you can see that you can install it with NPM. You can install it with curl. It works on Linux, Mac, whatever. Um, and it's very good. <laughs> it's very, very good. So how does the CLI compare? What's different? What are you going to have to relearn if you're learning these things? Nobody likes to relearn how to use a package manager. That doesn't sound like fun, right? Well, uh, PNPM add package works. PNPM install works. Update, remove, link, unlink import purge all this stuff that you would probably expect to work is going to work and let me even uh, dive in to show you um, one of our package.json files and this is for the root of our project and this is the root of our project we have right here we have some neat stuff to allow us to run commands from any of our other commands uh, so this is the mono repo this is the root of our repository and let's say we wanted to run dev on just the UI of the site. We just do PNPM UI colon dev that runs this script, which then runs PNPM recursive run dev with a filter. 
and then it filters via the project name. The project name in this particular case is defined in its package.json and is level up UI. That way we can continue to add packages and smaller projects or here or there, or we can run things for all of our repositories at once. NPM, PNPM install colon all to recursively install all or PNPM clean to remove an unwanted, well, just remove the node modules folders or maybe a shrink wrap file, or maybe if you wanted to have it remove a, a node lock file as well too, or something, you could have it do that, or you could just have it build everything. So the workspace features inside of here are excellent. The commands are in my experience, the same. I haven't really run into any situation where I'm like, huh, what is that? What is that command in PNPM that I know so well in NPM? It's really very similar. So what is PNPM? It's a faster, smaller on your disk uh, version of NPM. And in my experience has been very compatible with anything that I want to throw at it. And uh, the host that we used to host level up tutorials on render.com they actually just made PNPM available in all of their workspaces. So you can use it no problem in third party uh, workspaces like that. That said, um, before they did that, I was using NPX PNPM to do all of my stuff. Slight pain, not a huge problem. But either way, there's a lot of great stuff on here. And I highly recommend at least checking PNPM out, giving it a try if you've used Yarn or NPM. There's really no harm in giving it a test run. You can see it's sponsored by some great companies. And personally, this is the thing that I would like to use from now on moving forward, just because of how much smaller it is. Now, a low key thing that I really like about PNPM, again, this is not like a review or something, but a low key thing that I really like about PNPM. And let me see if I can pull up something here. Let's see. Usually I'm prepared. Um, Let's see if you can even see this, if it didn't, with my experience, the UI, the output in the console, so yeah, this is all, all goofed up from the spacing here. Um, but in my experience, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Uh, it's, it's not great, but it's, it's better. In my experience, the interface for this, where it's showing you your dependencies and the installation is way more transparent than uh, the NPM mountain of errors and who knows what that shows up when you install things sometimes. So, and I found the output of PNPM to be a little bit nicer as well in the console. It's a small thing, but it, it it's a nice thing. So uh, again, check it out at pnpm.io. Give it a try. Again, no harm in trying this thing, but again, I think you might like it, especially if you're the type of person who's like, I want to maybe even try a Bono repo, but I don't want to add Lerna or some of these other dependencies, some of these big dependencies that want to manage a whole ton of stuff. I just want to have kind of a light mono repo or even just some control over mini projects from a mono repo folder. I found this to be an excellent option to do that. And the workspace features are great. So either way, give PNPM a try. I think you will like. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to learn about web development, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. We have a new tutorial series out every single month. This next course is going to be on Astro and Astro is a fantastic server side first build system. So get excited about that one. We'll have a lot more tutorials coming along the way. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.